Did you know that you can make thousands a month selling AI art prompts? And no, not the art, just the prompts. Selling AI prompts can be a relatively easy and profitable AI side hustle. So we've researched and tested the best prompt marketplaces to buy and sell prompts for Midjourney, ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, and more. Hi everyone, welcome to AI Art Academy, your go-to spot for all things AI art. AI tools like Midjourney, Leonardo, Dolly, and Stable Diffusion can absolutely create art, but they aren't always great at bringing what you envision to life. And like you probably know, the best way to align your human-generated vision with the AI-generated artwork is by mastering prompts. That's where prompt marketplaces come in, which are essentially organized libraries that make it easy to find any type of prompt imaginable. So if you're a buyer looking for prompts to help build things like logos, mockups, and stickers, or a seller looking to monetize your prompt engineering skills and make some passive income from selling your creativity, I think you're gonna like these AI prompt marketplaces. So let's start with PromptBase. I actually discovered PromptBase at the end of 2022, right after Midjourney launched. I remember seeing ChatGPT prompts listed, and at that time, no one knew what that was. Then, a few weeks later, the world couldn't stop talking about ChatGPT. Since it's been around the longest, PromptBase has one of the biggest databases by far, with hundreds of thousands of prompts for a range of AI tools like Dolly, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and ChatGPT. If you're looking for something specific, chances are you'll find it here. That many prompts may seem daunting, but luckily, PromptBase lets you sort by category. Not only can you filter prompts for the AI platform you're using, but you can also narrow down your search for things like art and illustrations, photography, writing, productivity, or even prompts specifically for marketing. But what I love most about this platform is that their prompts come from some of the best-selling prompt engineers in the business. So rest assured that you're buying high-quality, repeatable prompts. Look, I bought this product photography prompt, and here's what I created with it. Looks like it's straight out of a flavored water commercial if you ask me. Right now, most of the prompts listed are anywhere between $2 and $10, so you won't have to break the bank if you're looking to buy. And after all, that's a cheap price for saving hours of trial and error. And if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, you can hire a prompt engineer. This is a little more expensive because top engineers can charge up to 150 bucks per prompt, but you're more likely to get exactly what you need. And if you're a seller, just know that PromptBase requires sellers to use the same prompt to submit multiple photos to guarantee that it's easy to recreate. So you can't just make one image and call it a day. And once you start to make some sales, PromptBase will let you charge more for your prompts. You can even become a prompt engineer after 25 sales and start setting your own rates for custom jobs. This is the best way to maximize the amount of money you make per prompt, but it's less of a passive income strategy and requires more hands-on work. PromptBase takes a 20% cut of all sales, and this is pretty standard. They could probably take more if they wanted to because prompts on PromptBase get more views than other marketplaces, with the top-tier prompts grossing their sellers thousands of dollars. The one downside of PromptBase is that it can be difficult to actually list your prompts since the platform analyzes each one and compares it to their existing database. So if your prompts are too similar to what's already there, they probably won't approve your listing. PromptBase also uses Stripe for payments, so depending on where you live, you might not be able to sell on the platform. If you want to check out PromptBase for yourself, we'll leave a link in the description. And if you've ever used PromptBase before, tell us about your experience in the comments! I know we're only hitting on the highlights today, so if you want to learn more about buying and selling on PromptBase, make sure to check out our full tutorial linked in the description. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos on all things AI art. Moving on. Prompt Attack is pretty similar to PromptBase in the sense that you can buy and sell prompts, but there are a few important differences. Prompt Attack could be a good starting place for new AI prompt sellers because it's a much smaller platform with less competition. That means that at least for now, you don't have to worry about competing against prompt engineering experts. But to be honest, I wouldn't really want to buy or sell on this platform myself. For starters, Prompt Attack takes a 30% cut of all sales compared to PromptBase's 20%, and the chances of getting seen aren't very high. From what we can tell so far, the top-selling prompts barely have any sales, and Prompt Attack's blog hasn't posted any updates in months, which makes me wonder if the people running it are even that invested in the platform themselves. But if you already have a prompt you're selling on PromptBase, it couldn't hurt to list it on Prompt Attack too. Less competition, so might as well. If you're interested in using Prompt Attack, we have a link in the description. And in case you're new to making AI art and want some tips and tricks to get started, make sure to check out our Midjourney tutorial so that you can learn how to make art and monetize your very own prompts. 
and give this video a like if you're ready to see the third marketplace. AI Frog is a brand new marketplace, and when we were researching how much money the top prompt was making, we were shocked to find that it only had 19 views, not sales, views. Like Prompt Attack, AI Frog is struggling to get traffic to its website. So no, you aren't going to make tons of money listing prompts on AI Frog or possibly any money at all. Another downside is that their sales cut is bigger than prompt bases at 25%. So you're telling me I have to give you more money to sell on a lower tier platform? No thanks. But we'll leave a link in the description in case you do want to give it a try. So for now, AI Frog has a lot of work to do if it wants to catch up, or should I say if it wants to leapfrog itself. <laughs> With all this in mind, I think PromptBase is the best AI prompt marketplace to buy and sell the highest quality and most profitable prompts, at least for now. PromptBase is growing by the day and could always get dethroned if platforms like Midjourney and ChatGPT release their own marketplaces, but at the time of this video, it has near complete control of the market. Of course, we're keeping an eye or two out for the latest and greatest in AI art, so subscribe and stay tuned. And speaking of the latest, we've seen tons of content pop up all over YouTube and Twitter about the newest AI art platform, Leonardo. In fact, PromptBase just listed Leonardo prompts on their platform, and thankfully, we're publishing Leonardo tutorials soon, so you can be among the first to list them for sale. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. We here at AI Art Academy, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.